You can see it from the 7 train. Five Points stands out in the heart of Long Island City. Colorful graffiti art covers the huge warehouse. Names, tags, monsters, creatures, anime, visions of imagination, and some we recognize. We cater to these young upcoming artists. Jonathan Cohen, known by his tag name Mears One, is the volunteer curator and he assigns wall space for the artists. I, I'd say we're probably the number one tourist attraction in Long Island City. The powerful images bring locals and tourists from all around the world. They take pictures and treat it like an art exhibit or museum. This is like fine art on walls, you know, that should be in museums and galleries. It's a place uh, that we know in France. Uh, it's, uh, in France, uh, on the net, uh, we can see that it's the uh, most uh, famous uh, site of uh, graffiti in the uh, USA. But Five Points is in jeopardy. The owners want to tear it down. They plan to build luxury condos. We can rightly call them slumlords. Fireworks flew at a community board meeting. Artists and neighbors opposed the redevelopment. They want the board to deny the demolition permit. We're there every day. It's a network of volunteers. Every day is a day where you have to watch the building, make sure people don't go inside, make sure people don't get hurt. They say owners are neglectful, pointing out debris, overflowing garbage, and spoiled food causing a stomach-turning smell. The stench that comes from the loading dock smells like feces and a decaying corpse. David Walkoff and his dad own the building. They say the debris isn't their fault. Well, I think it's a very positive thing. Uh, you know, look, we're continuing to put the artists in. I think the neighborhood needs uh, more critical mass to support the businesses, uh, the local businesses that are around the area that are flourishing and, and popping up right now. And I think they would be even more um, better off with a building like the ones we're uh, planning. But many consider Five Points a landmark, although it is not officially. It should be considered a landmark status. I think it's really important that we preserve what we have, it's, a, it's an institution, it's a very important piece of uh, New York City culture. I respect his wishes as a real estate developer, but sometimes you create something that's golden and not intentional or not intended, but you, you, you need to, to see the signs and recognize that. And that, that's the upsetting part. The fight isn't over. It's up to the city to decide whether to approve the condo development. In the meantime, you can see the graffiti and attend events every Saturday. You can find out more on Five Points' Facebook page. Jonathan Donaldson, Brooklyn College News.